Hello and welcome to all. This is in regards to an issue I would like to share with you. But first I want to give a shout out to Husto for lending me his microphone. This is in regards to a um, <coughs> creating inbound connectors. Something you need when you need to run a hybrid configuration wizard. Or maybe you're setting up automatic email signing with maybe code 2 or whatever you're using. Anyways, this is affecting uh, users or tenants that were created after January 1st that have the business license, business standard basic or essentials or exchange online essentials. And obviously, if you recognize the naming of that one, exchange online essentials is GoDaddy. So there's a SKU that is GoDaddy here. But the goal really is to explain to you this scenario here. So you go to run your, com your, your hybrid configuration wizard, it doesn't create a, a connector and you're like, wait a second, it's throwing an error for this service offering. You can't create or update inbound connectors in your organization. Well, that error has a history. And the history is back in the day, there was two servers. There was small business, no phone support, had to deal with the community but it was small business and then there was enterprise licenses which were phone support 500 plus licenses um, able to connect inbound connectors for some reason this sounds like an old error pre maybe B pause maybe wave 15 where if you had small business you couldn't create a connector and this kind of ties back into uh, Black Cloud Services. Back in the day, Black Cloud Services was not supported on small business. But on the same coin, if you had the hard-coded URL, you were able to enable it. And I have known that for a fact because I had a case like that. Italian gentleman, ticket was open for days. Go in, say, I'm sorry, sir, you have small business. It doesn't work with BlackBerry. But I could send you the hard-coded link if you can enable it. Bing, bang, boom. It worked. So what I'm suggesting here is hard-coded URLs are the bomb. This is the hard-coded URL here that I've included here and I will include in the bottom where um, it tells you the, the uh, explanation of the um, service incident event and then what we're looking if we need to re remedy it. So if you run into this error here <clears throat> and you can go to this URL, now your service interruption might be different. If you're based in Europe, it may have a different code. If you're based in North America, it might have a different code. But it's the error message you're looking for. The minute you see that error message, you have to go look for, do I have business standard, basic, or essential purchased after January 1st? Was my tenant created after January, uh, you know, 20, January 1st, 2023? <clears throat> and if I were to go try to create those connectors via PowerShell, would it throw the error? Because again, you got to prove that you can't create it in the Exchange Admin Center and you can't create it in uh, PowerShell. But what you're going to want to also do to strengthen your case is to put an enterprise license on there. And you're going to say, what do you mean put enterprise on there? You're going to go to products and services and you're going to go look for Office 365 E3 and throw a 30 day trial on it. And the reason why I say that, so that they can't say, oh, well, you know, it's a license we can't see, or, oh, this is a, uh, a license that was assigned by your partner. Make sure that you have a license directly through us, okay? So that the license is not something assigned by your partner. Um, it's not, you know, it's, it's directly through us. We, we could see it. And when we go uh, looking for information, we can't, you know, say, oh, this needs a partner or support ticket or you have to go through partner or have to go to your upstream. So include your E3. Make sure that you can include um, what the PowerShell command would be for creating the connector. I have a sample here because this is just a sample template that we use. And um, I, I share it with you because I want you to have a good experience, even though it was a bad thing to happen. So I want to wish you all a great day and hopefully the Microsoft phone fairy routes you to the engineer that understands what you're experiencing today. So I want to thank you all and hope you come back and visit soon. I have a plan to release one of these every few days until I've flooded the internet with tips and tricks on how to improve their support experience. Bye.